I am beating every N64 game, and I mean all of them. The twist is, the next game I play is randomly selected, so I have no clue what's coming next. This is the journey to beating every N64 game. Game number 73, FIFA Soccer 64. Released in 1997, this game was developed and published by Electronic Arts. Another one of the sports gets brought into the mix here, we've got our first soccer game. Or football, I guess, depending where you live. I personally don't care much at all for soccer, but I understand its popularity all over the world and it's even gaining popularity in the US as well. And the FIFA game series needs no introduction with it still being developed and released yearly to this day. It's by far the biggest soccer game series there is. So let's see how the first entry to this series on the N64 was. The main menu had the modes Friendly, Playoff, League, and Tournament to choose from. For this challenge, my clear condition for sports games is generally to beat the main championship game of that sport in the quickest way possible. So for this game, I went with the Playoffs mode. It has you pick which league you want to have the playoff in either International, USA, Italy, England, France, or Germany. I guess if you pick one of the countries, it would have you play with their specific league team. I went with the International League as that would be the closest thing to the World Cup. There's honestly so many teams to choose from here. I wonder if any of these countries go by a different name after this game was made. I decided to play as Brazil because they're generally good at soccer, right? The playoffs are set up as a 16-team single elimination tournament. My first match was against Northern Ireland. They're probably not very good, right? The game opens showing both teams coming out of the locker room and then the game starts rather quickly. This is an attempt at a realistic soccer simulation game, so all the rules of a real match apply. I'm going to be honest, I don't know much about most of the rules of soccer. I know about like basketball, baseball, American football, golf, but man, I sure don't understand soccer. The main objective is to kick the ball into the other team's goal, something that's incredibly difficult to do. Many soccer games will end with one, two, or even no goals scored the entire time. However, this was not the case for me, as I got my first goal in under two minutes, and it felt great. Excellent pass. Oh! Soccer matches run for two halves, and in this game, halves are set to four minutes each by default. So getting a goal so quickly, it was just awesome. A weird thing with the timer is, in soccer, it doesn't stop for anything. So they keep track of how much dead ball time has occurred, then add it to the end. I was confused when the half didn't end at 4 minutes, but then it did about 15 seconds later. In the second half, I saw just how realistic this game is. I went in for a slide tackle and barely even touched the other guy. Oh, what? Ow. Oh my god, he's faking it. He fell down, writhing in pain, but we all know he's faking it. They definitely nailed the injury system. A couple minutes into the second half and I got another goal. With Brazil up 2 to nothing, this was a surefire victory for them. However, Northern Ireland struck back though with about a minute to go, putting them down 2 to 1. However, there just wasn't enough time left and Brazil takes the win, 2 to 1. It shows your players celebrating on the field briefly after a win and then it cuts to the menu. The second match was against Spain. I knew this would be a tough game because during this time period they had the world famous player Pele. While you're in a game there's no music or anything like that. You mostly hear the crowd which it's incredibly loud and there's a British sounding commentator. The frame rate's pretty stable but the graphics definitely are just not good. Anyway after about two minutes into the first half Brazil got another goal with a big old kick. Like a big old soccer kick trick thing. I don't really know soccer terms. Outside of that goal, pretty much nothing of note happened. Brazil took this one, one to nothing. Now into the semi-finals and Brazil goes against Denmark. They have the world-renowned player Ronaldinho on their team. Gonna be a tough win. About a minute and 40 seconds in, Brazil with a clean goal right from the corner. The players decided to do some ridiculous celebration, which they just looked dumb doing that. What are they thinking? Then into the second half, Denmark drove downfield taking a shot directly at the goalie and he just stands there and let the ball between his legs. What the heck, man? You've been doing so well all playoffs. The game was pretty quiet from here on out and it was tied 1-1 one one at the end of the second half. 
When this happens, both teams go to extra time, essentially an overtime period. Apparently it only lasts one minute in this game, then we go to the second extra time, but still no one was able to score. It's just too hard to do so in this sport. So now we go to the ultimate shootout, the shootout. For a shootout, it's essentially a game of luck. You choose whether you want to shoot left, right, or middle, and the goalie chooses whether to dive left, right, or middle. For both of our first kicks, we kicked it way too hard and it just got launched over the goal. You get to choose the intensity with which you kick by how, I guess, hard you press the button. It's kind of stressful. Denmark's second goal went in though, and Brazil screwed it up once again. Denmark made their third goal while Brazil just lobbed it directly at the goalie. They're just blowing it out here, come on man. Denmark missed their fourth goal keeping Brazil alive, but once again, Brazil just sucked and kicked it directly at the goalie. They had lost. But to my surprise, something crazy happened. A localized thunderstorm directly over my gaming room appeared and the lightning from the storm happened to strike directly on the roof. Now here's the even crazier part. This was a special thunderstorm, and the lightning had the voltage to only affect my N64, nothing else electronic in the house. An N64 thunderstorm at this time of year, localized entirely over my gaming room? What are the chances? Well, I guess since it didn't save, I'll have to replay that match against Denmark. This match went to a shootout once again, but this time I was prepared. My first shot, easy goal. Their first, whiff. I made the second goal as well, so I was up 2-1 in the shootout. When I was up 3-2, Denmark had to make their final shot to stay in it. And, uh, let's just say they've taken better shots in their time. Brazil takes the game easy after a rough shootout. So now I'd made it to the finals. Our game was against Croatia. Not sure how good they were back then, but they made it to the finals, so gotta take it serious. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty calm throughout the entire match. At the half, it was tied with no one scoring. I thought for sure we were going to just keep stalling and reach yet another shootout. But with just seconds to go, one of my players did this. Let's go, dude! Let's go! A Cruz, baby! Brazil had won the playoffs, which are similar to the World Cup Finals or something like that, I don't know. But it seems like the main championship this game has to offer. It shows the team celebrating on the field with the goalie getting especially crazy. And that's pretty much it. Game complete. But wait, I see two things in the title, huh? Oh yeah, you're right. EA tried to pull a fast one on us even back in the 90s. So here is game number 74, J League Live 64. Released exclusively in Japan in 1997, this game was developed and published by Electronic Arts. It seems like it's a different game, completely different name, cover art, looks way different, it's based on the Japanese soccer league rather than FIFA, but oh no, this game is very similar. In fact, it's completely identical outside of a couple very small things. Surprisingly, this game is popular enough to have a fan English translation patch, so playing this wasn't too bad. So looking at the main menu, it probably looks pretty familiar to you. It's the exact same thing, just worded differently. The menu music and graphics are different, but it's the exact same game under the hood. I went for the tournament and had to first choose my team. I guess these are real Japanese teams? I don't know. You can be the Antlers, Jeff, Raysol, Reds, Verdi, Marinos, Flugels, Belmare, Espulse, Jubilo, Grampus, Purple Sanga, Gamba, Cerezo, Sanfreche, and Avispa. Is it just me or do all these mascots look like they're from Disney cartoons? Like the one for the Marinos looks just like Donald Duck, come on. I decided to pick Grampus as their mascot looked kinda cool. When I got into the gameplay, that's when I truly learned this was the same game. It looks the same, and it plays the same. The only real different thing is there's a bar at the bottom showing the score and who currently has the ball. There's no commentator in this one, but there is a guy who gets very excited when someone scores. Oh my god, it's so loud. The final difference is when you win, it pops up with like children's letter blocks saying you win. But yeah, there's not really much else to say about this one. I won the first game 2 to nothing, the second game 4 to 1, third game 2 to 1, and the tournament finals I won 2 to nothing. It shows the same celebration cutscene as the FIFA game, then that's about it. Game complete. So yeah, there you have it. My journey to beating two games, FIFA Soccer 64 and J League Live 64. I'm personally not into soccer and well, these games didn't change that very much. 
just not that interesting to me. Maybe they'd be a little better playing against a friend, but I don't know. I just don't see it. The graphics are quite poor, the frame rate's poor, and there's just not many good sports related things like the commentary or anything. Maybe I'm biased because I don't like soccer, but well, that's how I feel. I will say if you are interested in playing this game, I would recommend J League Live over the other. It's just slightly more polished. This is an instance of a dev releasing the same game twice under different skins. It happens a few times on this console. We've actually already seen it with Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey and Olympic Hockey 98. I gave FIFA a 1.5 out of 10 for enjoyability and a 3 out of 10 for difficulty. And I gave J League Live a 2 out of 10 for enjoyability and a 3 out of 10 for difficulty. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Have a sneak peek at the next game. 317 on the list. Anything could come up. Who knows what? Let's find out. 3, 2, 1, go! 155. What's that? Oh my god, I used to have this game. We are playing Major League Baseball featuring Ken Griffey Jr. This is a good one. I used to have this. But yeah, if you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. It helps the channel a lot. And if you like this series, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one.